Y'all, thank you for waiting. We had, had some business to do. Are there any, any further questions? Off topic things or otherwise? I'm, I'm sorry, I couldn't hear you in the what? Okay. On the rise. I can't hear you. No, no, no plan. What we're doing is we're monitor as we did before. We we used when the the virus was really really on the rise uh, back last year. We were we were having meetings all the time, telephonically all the time, every, just about every morning, every afternoon. Uh, we are still monitoring closely. We're watching all the the data, not only from South Carolina but around the the country, and and we are are, are monitoring carefully to see what, if anything, uh, we need to do. And uh, when the time comes to alert uh, people making uh, those sorts of decisions, we'll do so. But uh, the, the good news is that the, the tests that we've faced previously with this virus have been very well handled in South Carolina. And as a result, our people are as healthy as they are anywhere else. And in addition, our economy is, is booming. So those are, those are good things. Yes, sir. Uh, if I can go off that train of thought, um, specifically for kids, uh, when we're seeing these rise in children's cases and children's deaths, do you have any concerns about outbreaks in schools potentially and possible deaths? Well, we we uh, certainly don't want we don't want any outbreaks anywhere. That's why, as I said, we are we're monitoring very carefully, staying in touch with all the data, all the information, the best information that we can get. Sometimes you you have to have to sift it out to be sure that, that we understand what the data shows. But we're watching it very carefully. Staying on schools for a second, if I may. Um, when the COVID liability bill that was signed, uh, with that in mind, as we go into the year with plans to not make masks. Is there any plan for the state to get financial resources if a school or school district is sued because of the COVID liability? Well, those things are they already covered under state law, but there are a lot of there's a lot of COVID-related funds that are coming to the state, and again, we'll make those decisions when the facts justify them. But I think we're on a good course. I think we our people have. We understand uh, the virus. Uh, we understand it it, it. it changes like others do, but uh, we're monitoring it very closely, studying, gathering data, information, just as we've been doing for months to be sure that our people have the best information and and have whatever is available is available to them. You may mention before that getting vaccinated is a personal decision, but with so many people still not getting vaccinated in school around the corner, any thoughts on? Well, we, the position we've had, of course, uh, Peggy and I, First Lady and I, have both been vaccinated. The children have been vaccinated. Uh, it is a decision that everyone has to make. Uh, there's uh, plenty of information out there. What what we're doing in our state is making sure that everybody has access to the information as well as to the vaccine itself. And uh, DHEC has a number of programs uh, on that to, to get the information and get the vaccine out. We have mobile units, uh, all sorts of things. All the pharmacies uh, have the, the vaccine. And uh, I would encourage everyone to, to, to make, that, make that decision. And, and uh, the thousands, millions of people have taken the vaccine. There's some that don't want to for various reasons. But uh, I'd say watch, just make your decision. It's a personal decision. Make your decision, but make the right decision. plateauing almost between this 40 and 50 percent range uh, statewide. Are there any plans, any anything in the works right now to create more of a push? I know you mentioned just spreading the word, those mobile units, anything else, anything you may not have heard about yet? Oh, uh, there's nothing that you haven't seen uh, some of already, but the, the our goal is to be sure that the vaccine is available, that people know where they can get it, they, they know that there's no charge for it, you can get it almost 24 hours a day in South Carolina. There are websites all over the place explaining where it is and its effectiveness. And we urge people to, to get that information. And if they want to get that vaccination, then they ought to go on and get it, particularly 
uh, in, in light of this this new evidence of a, a new a, a variant, uh, I, we just urge people to be careful. Be smart. Be careful. Make your decision. But but uh, be careful and think of your family. Oh, yeah. So just being encouraging as a parent, you know, this has been a tough year. Uh, kids have that haven't been in school, missing their friends, as you heard, talking about anxiety. I think just as parents, we need to be the ones that kind of shoulder all the worry for our children, right? Let's make this a new school year. It's positive. Let's be excited about it, getting kids back in school um, and just get them ready like we would any other school year. But it's a great thing, Governor, signing that bill into law, making sure that our kids have the resources because these are difficult times coming out of COVID, pressures of social media, all the new things that affect our children and you know just having an outlet because sometimes as I said earlier parents aren't the first people that their children run to because they're ashamed or embarrassed or they don't really know how to articulate it so it's really good to make sure that they have access to good quality people that will give them good advice. No ma'am. No, ma'am. We are we are monitoring the all new information in the data, and uh, we are, we think we are, we've chosen the proper course, and this is the course that we we plan to stay on is is to monitor, be careful, give people the information, let them make their decisions. No. No, they, they still, they, they get a lot of uh, data and, and, and uh, we receive it as well and it's available to anyone who wants it. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I would say welcome to the arena and uh, we plan on winning. <laughs> Thank you.